Hello everybody, my name is Dane George. Uh, for those of you who have never met, I'm a new part-time instructor here at, at St. Mary's and teaching a course on renewable energy and energy efficiency. So to that topic, today we're going to tell you a little bit about the, the uh, HRM Solar City program. I figure there are some homeowners and potentially future homeowners in the room, so this could be applicable to you. So we'll start with a little bit of the history. Uh, this program kicked off as a pilot program. It ran from about 2012 to 2015. Uh, there, as part of the pilot, there was financing available to homeowners in the regional municipality for solar hot water heaters only. Uh, it was funded by the Federation of Canadian Municipalities, managed by the, the city, and, uh, and this financing was attached to, to one's property so that, that it was paid back through property taxes. Uh, this program was a huge success. There were a whole bunch of systems, I think 388 were installed in HRM, uh, and over the lifetime of these projects, there's gonna be quite a lot of CO2 savings, so a really good thing for the environment. Uh, the number of installations that occurred with this program I believe might be equivalent to the number of installations that existed in Canada up till then. So this is, you know, it's really pushing the solar industry in, in, uh, in Canada. Uh, and for that reason, the city then voted in about 2015 to extend the program I believe, for another three years. Uh, as part of this pilot, there's a whole bunch of data collected, uh, which is also generating information for research and innovation. Uh, I'm a perfect example of that. I just finished a master's in December that was where I, where I used a bunch of data that was collected through the initial Solar City program. So I'm you know, super grateful for this program. Uh, so currently, the program, which has been extended, has opened up to include other technologies. So again, it's, it provides financing for solar projects, 10-year uh, fixed interest rate at 4.75%. Uh, you have an option to pay this balance in full at any time, and if a house is sold, then at that point the system must be paid off. So the technologies that are included, we'll start with solar PV. Here's an example of a system installed in Scotch Village. Uh, PV is for generating electricity. So you can, you can generate electricity and feed it into the electricity grid through Nova Scotia Power's net metering program. Here's a, a Easy little diagram to understand what net metering means. Basically, you have your solar collector. You'll run that through an inverter to, gen or to convert the electricity from DC to AC. And it'll then either feed into your house or back out to the grid. And you'll have what's called a bi bidirectional meter installed on your house. And then at the end of the month, that meter will have gone up and down, depending on whether you're overproducing or underproducing electricity, and you pay the balance on it. So it can reduce your electricity bill. Uh, throughout the year. The second type of technology that's included is uh, their solar air heaters. I've never actually seen one of these, you know, the physical version of one of these, but here's a simple diagram that explains how they work. Um, they could be attached to your wall or your roof, <coughs> uh, and the cold air will generally, you know, from closer to the ground, will flow into it. It'll heat up as the sun shines on the collector, and then the hot air will then pass into your house. There's different configurations here. This is just a simple version, uh, but you know, helps you understand the purpose of it. It basically reduces your heat load, uh, reduces your natural gas or oil or electricity costs for heating. Here's a, a photo of one of those systems. I believe this is a do-it-yourself version. Uh, if you're interested in doing it yourself, there's some videos on YouTube you can look up to make them out of, that'll show you how to make them out of uh, pop cans. But I'm not sure if those systems will qualify for the program, they might, you might need to get a you know, CSA certified or something a little more official. Uh, the last type of system that qualifies for the program is uh, solar hot water heater collect or solar hot water heaters. So these systems uh, will run a fluid through a solar collector. That fluid heats up when it's exposed to the sun, and then will be exchanged into or exchanged to water. Uh, which is fed by your, you know, your city water supply and, uh, and input into a solar preheating water tank. From that tank, the preheated water will then flow into your traditional hot water heater, which might be a tank or it might be tankless, depending on what you have in your house. 
there's an example of, of a, a system that you might see around Halifax. So this is the type of system that was called, or that was part of the pilot program. There are a whole bunch of these in, in Halifax right now, but now you can choose uh, any one of these three systems. Uh, if you're interested, this is the process that you have to go through. You can sign up online at halifax.ca slash solarcity. Uh, you can select a contractor. There's a list available online. And, uh, and then you'll get them to do a solar assessment of your home. Then you submit some of the paperwork that they provide you. Uh, you, you apply for funding through that same process. Once the solar contractor has completed the installation, then you get a, you fill in another report, submit it, and the municipality will actually pay the contractor for you. So you never have to you know, have that amount of money in hand, uh, which is a really great thing for some homeowners. So in my opinion, as an energy nerd, this is really great news for the environment. Uh, they aim to facilitate 450 installs per year, and hopefully they'll reach that. I'm not really sure where they stand right now, as it really just got off the ground the latter half of last year. Uh, it could kickstart a solar PV industry in Nova Scotia, which is really just getting its feet off the ground compared to other parts of the world, or other provinces like Ontario. Uh, it provides capital to homeowners that might not have it. Uh, it will create a network of installers and information, and, uh, and it encourages professionalism because the, the amount of, the bureaucratic requirements are such that a contractor will really have to provide you know, good information to the homeowner and to the city if, this, if a system is going to be installed. That's all I have to tell you for today. So.